So what I'm doing here is re-stretching this carpet up into that door, that back wall, and that back wall. The reason I've got the iron on this now is because it's been like this for so long that the backing has actually set and it's impossible to use a power stretcher and a stretcher to get these out. So what we need to do is supple up the backing of the carpet and the glue so that it will stretch that way. Okay, so a bit of commercial layer carpet tiles. This is the problem areas. Customer had a spill and then um, used an off the shelf product. I think it was Dr. Bateman's. And obviously that's attracted soil in. So we're going to be using VLM here today. We've got this floor and a top floor. right across from the mighty room. Bye-bye. What a quote. Okay guys, so I've um, pre-sprayed and obviously bonded it off. Um, the Iron Man pads and the scrub pads were both sitting in an acid rinse to obviously bring the pH back down to a nice neutral where it belongs. The only thing is, is the customers have used Dr. Bakeman and obviously that's a high foaming off the shelf solution for the everyday customer. So we need to extract that. Now I've extracted most of it into the pads, but just to make sure we get every last bit so that the stain don't reappear when soiling is trodden over it, because that's what will happen. We need to get any soapy suds out of there. Now, obviously I could set up the portable and it's a high end portable. So I could actually run it from the van outside but there's people working today and um, I thought, do you know what? I've got a little extraction machine, cost me about 50 pounds. It's just a normal little tiny shop vac. But this little bad boy here will pull any of the suds out of this. Once I've done that, I'm then gonna go over with a very damp, um, slightly damp, Iron Man pad with more acid rinse on just to make sure that we've totally neutralized this area and got all of the suds out. I guess it also shows that, you know, with a bit of imagination, you can clean anything really to be fair. So what I'm basically looking for is suds rising to the top like that bit there see that that's no good we need that out it's actually quite 
call it a call from the pieces. <laughs> yeah, we've got some here, look. That's no good in the carpet, guys. See the carpet tiles, very low profile, and that will just attract the. So we need to make sure it's all out. Not too bad now. So this pad is totally dry. Okay. It's got more friction to the floor as it's dry and I'm doing this with one hand so it's not the easiest thing to film. But as you can see now there's no suds. This will just literally pull every last bit of that sod out there um, and this is before I put an air mover on here to speed dry the area all done so I did an office upstairs as well but I can't record in that one so all those coffee stains, you know, tea stains that were down here and down this sort of area are all gone. The big huge one that was here, totally gone, although they, um, they have distorted the pile through vigorous rubbing with the Dr. Bateman's in areas, look, you know. Um, main thing is, customer's happy that all of the staining and all of the soiling is completely out so as you look down nice and pleasing for any employee to work in okay guys that's a wrap thank you very much for that medley of videos that i've put together throughout the week just some of the work that i've done I'd just like to thank everybody for subscribing and liking the channel. I'm really glad that people are taking things away from it because I've said it before and I'll stay real. I watch many YouTube channels and I gain vast experience along the way. So all your messages that I've been flooding in, I'm trying to get through them as fast as I can. I will get back to you about anything that you've asked keep watching guys and um, all the best for the future for everybody thanks a lot